it was indeed a day of celebration as the family of the latu ezekiel received and named their second child the child who came after 13 years of waiting has brought joy and happiness to the family so we kept praying we kept praying of a truth somebody gave us uh, leaves they say her womb she need to take it so that it will clean uh, her womb that sometimes you have some dates it's take time for you to conceive and all that we prayed over it and after some time with prayers she told me i can't see my, my normal menstrual cycle i said go and find it now is there anywhere you lost <laughs> <laughs> the next thing to do i said but come on, go and run a test lo and behold my wife was pro pronounced Amen. pregnant before i went to work that day I stood on the bed. I cried before going to school. I asked God, is that how you are going to look at us? This is almost 10 years. And we have been praying, we have been waiting, we have been trusting on you, and nothing has happened. Is that how you are going to look at us? Is there any sin we have committed that you cannot forgive us? I prayed that day, I wiped my tears and went to school. Even when it happens, I did Please, not believe that it actually happened. When I told my husband, he was like, are you sure? I said, I'm sure. In fact, I did not even believe. I was just saying, God, is it you? I was, I was shocked because I was not even expecting it when God did it. I want to appreciate him because all through the nine months, he saw me through. He was wonderful. I never felt sick. I even collected my leave because I just wanted to rest, not that I was no longer able to teach in the school again. I want to really appreciate him because he has been faithful. Even when we were not faithful, he has always been faithful. He has proved himself to be faithful. In the naming ceremony of the child, whose name is Dalatu Ezekiel John Philip Shokwagi Shokwaga, which took place in the family house in Gogolada area council of the FCT, family and friends all came out to celebrate with them and has this to see. Dalatu Ezekiel John Philip Shokwagi Shokwaga. Who can try that? A teacher here, for Apollo, we can you try. <laughs> <laughs> we pray that the desire of the parents and the desire of the church be fulfilled in his life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So I sincerely want to appreciate God for what he has done for us. Uh, God is at work and God is still going to do more for us. Amen. So we thank God for his life and for those who have been waiting for this kind of blessing please just keep on focusing on god all of us nobody gives child to himself it's only god you could be as powerful as anything you could be rich you could be poor the children issue is from god i want to thank everybody that have made time to be here and that god almighty will keep on to promote the relationship between us. Thank you and God bless. I'm so grateful to God for this family and uh, I want to thank God for baby Philip. Wow. I, the family is so honored because we have an additional member today in our family. And we are so grateful to God. Our prayer is for God to keep him, to watch over him, that no plans of the enemy will be succeeded over him in the name of Jesus. The family is delighted to have this child as they pray God to guide and protect him. Highlight of the event was a special prayer by Bishop John Manji of Spring of Life Resource Center, Haru Abuja. You will reveal your identity upon him daily. When Moses was found out to be a good child, he was hidden. Therefore, we hide this child, Lord, under the tabernacle of yours, that you will overshadow him. You will keep him. Your eyes shall be on him perpetually. Every desire of this family is granted by virtue of this answered prayer. In the name of Jesus. We at Adbanisha TVC. 
Congratulations to the family of Dela to Ezekiel, Jethro Elia.